Today, the most common wireless technology in the United States is 4G LTE. But the future of mobile broadband is 5G, the next generation of wireless connectivity. As the world goes increasingly mobile and becomes more connected, everything from heart monitors to cars can be internet-connected devices, we need to keep our focus on a path toward 5G. In part, that means the FCC needs to update its rules in order to promote the infrastructure needed for next-generation networks. 5G networks will look really different from the wireless networks we're used to seeing. Instead of 200-foot-tall cell towers alone, 5G networks will also rely on much smaller, more densely packed infrastructure, often called small cells. These small cells, like the cell phones they serve, operate at lower power. They are less conspicuous, and together, they can transmit a lot more data. The problem is that the FCC's rules still contemplate wireless infrastructure as if everything were a massive cell tower. But small cells don't present the same issues as big towers, and forcing them to jump through the same regulatory hoops means that American companies and consumers won't be able to seize the wireless future. So the FCC is focused on modernizing our rules to support 5G. That includes reforming our federal historic preservation and environmental review processes, while ensuring that other necessary reviews stay in place. The results of this small cell effort will be big. 5G innovators and entrepreneurs will focus their efforts and capital on the United States. Many good-paying jobs will be created building the networks of the future. And more American consumers will more quickly benefit from the next generation of wireless services. I want the United States to lead the world in 5G. By modernizing its rules, the FCC is taking a key step toward that goal.